My name is Odu Agbonini. I'm a mechanical engineer. I'm the founder of Nene Sotuke, and I'm doing my best possible to break the bias. The journey into, I would say, engineering started while I was still in secondary school. I have an uncle in Benin. I grew up in Benin City. And whenever there is no public water supply, we all go to his house to fetch water as early as 6 a.m. in the morning. And there was this day, I asked my mom, I said, why is it that whenever there is no water, this man has water and you see hundreds of people coming to his house in the morning to queue for water. My mom was like, ah, he's an engineer. That was the aha moment for me. I was like, wow, an engineer. So he's making a lot of impact. He's giving water to a lot of people. And as well, he's wealthy. So that's how I made up my mind at that point that I want to become an engineer. And uh, my mom had to enlighten me that if you want to become an engineer, you need to take your science courses seriously. And that was how the journey began. I found myself. I went to the university to study mechanical engineering. After that, um, the first job I got was with Kostaris Motors, and it was um, an opportunity for me to learn better, know better. Even while I was in university, I did my internships in independent um, garages as well as even companies. You can imagine going to NNPC and they send you to the automobile workshop. Going to a brewery, they send you to an automobile workshop. Meanwhile, there are other divisions you can work in. So that's how I, I became, I, had, I, I developed the passion for automobile. There are very few women in this um, field because um, firstly, there's a lack of interest even from the women and you would not blame them. It's um, a societal belief. You know, most parents, they tell their children that you shouldn't even go into engineering, not at all, you want to even go into mechanical engineering because of this societal belief that it's a man's world, that um, it's fine, that's the truth. We have more of males in the, in the field, but I don't think that's just the end of it, most especially now that we have a lot of sensors, we have our cars, technology is coming into maintenance of vehicles, into the production, into repairs of vehicles, and um, it's not all about your strength, but it's all about what you have up there. And um, I think women should be able to embrace it. Don't take it that, no, 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 this is just a feed for the guys. I shouldn't be found there. That's the reason why for me, I've tried on my own as much as possible to encourage females. Because if a woman has an issues with her car, the first person she calls is the closest man to her. Is it that she's calling her husband, when calling her brother, any guy around their friends to repair their cars. So what I do is to encourage women to love their cars, embrace their cars, know your car more. I try to do that through workshops, um, a workshop where we train women to know more about their cars, even if it is the basic thing. You can imagine when your car stops you on Todd Milan Bridge, what happens to you? if you are unable to change your tires yourself, or even if maybe you don't even know how to even check your battery terminal when your vehicle goes off. So with this, I think with a lot of sensitization, with a lot of advocacy going out there, we'll have more women coming on board. Working for some years with other organizations, I decided to embrace entrepreneurship in 2015, January precisely. I opened up my shop and it's been so good. Though as an entrepreneur, you know, it's really, really challenging. You need to up your game at every point in time. It's really, really challenging. But we are seven years in business and so far we have recorded um, a lot of successes when it comes to clientele base, when it comes to even the employees. We've had um, an increased number of employees. We've um, included more services. Like when we started, we started with just auto diagnostics and um, the car wash session. We were fortunate enough to get the Tonelu Melu grants like um, two months into the business and it really helped us to include other services like the tire service that was when we were able to include get um, the wheel balancer get the wheel alignment machine and um, over the years what um, 
have stood out for us is our focus to increase our service because as much as possible we want to be a premium brand we want to ensure that we satisfy our customers we want to be a multi service center whereby when you bring in your car everything that pertains to your car will be able to do it so that's what we have done over the years like our latest milestone which is automotive waste management safer end of engineered life champion i got selected by the Royal academy of engineering uk to do this amongst um, we have 15 of us all over the world and i'm the only person from nigeria representing representing us on this and i think it's a very very good thing for us not just doing just maintenance of vehicles we're also looking at sustainability we're looking at the lives our environment even our vehicle owners of those around the automotive industry we are looking at how we can mitigate the risk even caused by end-of-life vehicles you see a lot of vehicles out there we also realize that we have most of these end-of-life vehicles because there is a lack of um, proper technology to fix these cars that's why we have um, invested in bringing in the latest technology when it comes to maintenance of vehicles we have also embraced continuous learning like presently we all know that the future of automobile is electric vehicles and uh, presently i'm even running courses on electric vehicles why because we need to stand out we need to be there and i've also tried to encourage many women as um, possible unfortunately today we have few ladies like um, one of them has gone for youth service we miss her she's not in the garage at the moment and um, we have tried to do some beautiful initiatives with universities with polytechnics we worked with university of lagos to come up with an auto diagnosis and prognostic center because they realize that their girls in mechanical engineering they prefer to come to my mobile garage for their internship because they want both the theoretical and the practical blend they also study mechanical engineering and they have a passion for this so they come to the garage presently we're also working with lagos state polytechnic we have the service center there we make use of the automotive and mechatronics workshop to also bring in a lot of people we also have initiatives that we have done like the guest auto squad with the guest auto squad we trained about almost 30 girls and some of them have gained employment some of them are on their own working it's um, it is a continuous journey and you know like the sustainable development goal five gender equality before 2030 we would ensure as much as possible to see what we as Nene Sotoke can do in closing that gap not in the world definitely we cannot affect the world but even in our circle of influence how we can have more ladies come on board there are a lot of opportunities for ladies out there you know when you're in a field that it's kind of will i call it an unusual and you are doing it excellently well you get a lot of patronage you get the, the, there's this pride that comes with it there's this respect people tend to respect you people tend to value you so i would want to encourage a lot of ladies to embrace this field it comes with respect it comes with dignity it comes with people look at it and let me tell you as a female in this job i tell people you know females will pay more attention to detail so if a lady is handling your vehicle she will pay more attention sorry to the guys but that's that's just the truth about it you can't take it from the ladies they pay more attention to to detail and with the advancement in the automotive industry there are a lot of opportunities there are a lot of opportunities opportunities these are their job opportunities that on demand so i think our ladies should not be cut off from um, benefiting from the automotive industry try and um, fit yourself into this field when it comes to this business i actually enjoy it because um, every day it's not the same you face different challenges and if you are someone that is really really innovative you are energetic you would enjoy the work you would um, have the opportunity of trying your hands on one or two different things so it's really really cool apart from the morning coming in it's really really cool and exciting you meet different sets of people Nenis Otoke, like I said initially, is a female-friendly automobile garage. So we have a special package for females. And um, we also have a um, different target audience. We have 
private organizations we face their cars, we work for corporate organizations, we work for logistics companies, even work for schools, we make sure we help them take care of their buses. So it's been so it's been so good and it's been so awesome working with different branches, even non-for-profits organizations. We also help them, we carry out um, services like pre-purchase inspection and we carry out um, that particular service, also use it for vehicle assessment to know the health check of their cars. So we also work with insurance companies to help them assess these cars for their vendors. We work for schools. We help schools maintain their vehicles. So our, our clientele base is, is large. When it comes to work-life balance, I think um, it's just the grace of God because I start my day by 5 a.m. and my 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. is my time with God. So I know like 6 a.m. I start to take care of my kids. I do that, um, dress them up for school. 7.30 they are out of the house. So when they're out of the house by 7.30, in another like 30 minutes, I can take my time to bathe and get set for work. I try as much as possible to leave the garage latest. 4 p.m. 4 p.m. because I want to spend more time with my children, most especially this is their formative years. I think I need to imbibe some good values in them. So I leave the workshop by, by 4 o'clock. I even go pick them up from school. I pick them up, I take them home, so I bond and I'm able to take care of the family. But most times when I have an activity or I'm engaged elsewhere, what uh, has really helped me is the good support network I've had. My husband has been awesome, my mom has been awesome. I've had uh, friends and family that come to help me stand in the gap, most especially my mom, even if I need to like travel out for a very long time. She's been there to help me balance my, my work life. So what I also do is on Saturdays, I don't leave the house. I want to stay with the family. I want to ensure that I have a special bond with my, with my children. I'm the, I'm the brand ambassador of Association of Professional Women Engineers of Nigeria. And um, our major objective is to encourage, enhance, and make girls excel in their chosen career. So through that, we've been able to do a lot of mentorship to ensure that we have more girls take up um, the STEM courses as the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics courses, as well as them um, helping them through their journey. So we help them through their journey and also see them through, because we know we have um, young graduates. We also have our mothers, we have our grandmothers. So that particular network has been um, a good mentoring um, association for me, because I've been able to also learn from the senior engineers ahead of me and also mentor the upcoming engineers. And it's been really, really very good. We have a lot of programs. Two years ago, I developed a platform, NIMAKI.com. It's a mentorship and an internship platform whereby we link uh, mentees with mentors, ensuring that um, they have someone that will walk them through the, the journey. So we've been able to do this for some time now, and it's and it's working perfectly well, and I think um, there are a lot of success stories from there. I would want to encourage a lot of women to embrace automotive engineering, or would I say even mechanical engineering, or any of the engineering fields. It is um, a well-paying industry. It is a field that you should embrace. Don't leave it to just the men. Don't leave it to just the men. You have a lot to, to benefit from being a part of um, that particular industry. So please come on board, don't take it that, oh, it's an industry for just the men. You can imagine me, we're just like two females present today with more than um, 15 guys. And we are doing excellently well. We are not oppressed. We are not oppressed. Nobody can come and oppress me or even the other lady. No, because we know our rights. So as long as you know your rights, you can embrace a field like this and it's, it's a very, very beautiful one. I have no regrets being in the automotive industry.